So here we are with the one and only Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pros. If you remember, we did a blues shuffle rhythm that's over on his channel, and that's YouTube 10 Thumbs Pro. So check that out because what we're going to do now is Tyler's going to show you a few things, a quick change, and we'll, he'll tell you what that is, and then a really cool turnaround at the end to take that, what we did on his channel, just up one level. So uh, you'll notice he's playing this really cool Gibson uke one, and this is actually from Ukulele Ray, if uh, anyone knows that. I'm playing my, uh, my Pineapple Sunday Redwood uh, from Pops Coloha, and uh, it's so cool that you are here all I'm the way from Columbia. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm happy we could do something on my channel, something on yours, and I'm really happy to show you guys how blues builds on each other. That's the idea. Um, it's a canvas, and you can always, it's kind of like Jenga. You can always put something on top of it and keep building it up. So this is fun stuff, man. Awesome. Thank yeah. you for having me. Make sure to subscribe to 10 Thumbs Pro if you haven't, and also turn on that bell notification. Subscribe to You Collector Pros if you haven't done that. Follow both of us because we do a lot of amazing content on ukulele and blues and just everything. Yeah, just good stuff, good life, good, good vibes all around. You know, <laughs> music, music, and surfing, it's all good. <laughs> So why don't we do this? Why don't we play it once? Okay. We'll show them that we'll, we'll do the quick change and you'll the turn around and then you can break it down for them. Cool, cool. So we'll take it from the top. Yeah. One, two, three, four. what you're doing there. All right, so let's break it down. We're going to start with what we call the quick turnaround. This is a really good tool for your vocal parts, your melodic parts, and it also takes away from the monotony. If you're familiar with the 12 bar blues, the first part is A for four bars. One, two, three, four, which is cool. But if you ask guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, there's a little trick you can do to make it just a little bit cooler and we're gonna bump up to the four chord on the second measure. Now that's fancy pantsy talk for saying after this one time, we're gonna play the D7 for one time. Mixing up the first four measures. So the first four measures will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now you should know this shuffle from the tutorial that Terry taught on my channel but I want to take it slow, maybe that you're just jumping in and you're a little more advanced to talk about what we're doing. The walk that we have is just like Terry said, but the difference, the change happens on the second measure. And what's really cool about this particular shuffle is when you get to the fourth beat, if you lift up your index finger, you already have that D7 shape. So I'm a big fan of the less moving pieces, the better it is, and try to be economical or efficient in your strumming. So really slow, we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And I'm in the third bar, fourth bar, and from here, the rest of the 12 bars is gonna have in the same, because I'll go right to the fifth bar, being the D7 again, all right? So that's something that you'll hear referred to as a quick turn, or a quick turnaround, or a quick change in your blues. Now, at the end, there is the traditional turnaround, which we taught, which Terry taught on my channel as this. E, D, A, and E. Works great, sounds great, and in fact, in most scenarios, that's gonna be the one you're gonna use the most especially when you're communicating with other musicians and you're jamming, that tends to be the easiest for them to improvise over. But if you're playing alone, you can add some spice to it and make it sound something like this. Now that's gonna, oh, and also you hammer on that third, that's another element of tastiness as well. So what we're doing here is we are mixing well, not necessarily mixing, because we're doing a swing time anyways, but we're really hitting these triplets. So over our first measure, the first two of the fours are going to be the same. E7 the same, 
Again, if this feels too quick, check out a link in the notes or Terry will have a link up so you can go check out his tutorial on my channel that goes into this stuff with detail. So our E7 will be the same, D7 the same. It's the fourth beat here that's gonna add a little dimension to it. We're gonna play the open A string on the first beat one. Then I'm gonna take my middle finger and put it on the fourth fret of the C string here, and my pointer finger on the third fret of the E string here. And I'm gonna use my thumb as in charge of my C string, pointer on the E, and the middle on the A string, and I'm gonna play them three times. Well, one, each one individually for a total of three notes. But that's gonna happen over the second beat. Two, three, four. So that's called triplets. You can count them two pola, one pola, triplet, anything that's da, da, da. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three is the sound we're looking for. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then slide each finger down one fret. Now I'm on the third beat, one, two, three. Each finger down for the fourth beat, one, two, three. Then over the first beat of the last measure, I'm gonna play the open C string and take my finger and hammer on to the first fret and then grab the open A. Now let's take another look at that because that should also be a triplet. One, two, three. One, two, three. So everything's happening in the same space. Two, pull up. Three, pull up. Four, pull up. One, pull up. Okay? This difference too, I don't wanna to get too much into theory, but what we have going when we hammer on from the C to the C sharp, we're playing an A7. So we're going from the minor third to the major third, which again in layman's means tasty blues action. All right, so really slow. One, two pola, three pola, four pola, one pola, two. Hit that E7 on the second beat, and you can let it ring, or you can strum two, three, four, and boom, we're in the top. So I'm gonna take it from the top, nice and slow. Let's play through the whole 12 bar from the top together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Wait, turn around. Back to the A. Bar four. Bar five. Six. Back to the A. Seven. Eight. Here comes the E7 on the ninth. Nine. D7 on the 10. One, two pull up, three pull up, four pull up, boom. And the top. And there you have it. That is how you take the basic 12 bar that my friend Terry taught on my channel and give it a little bit of swagger, a little bit of blues action, a little bit of, hey, you really want to hear some real blues, that kind of vibe, some old timey vibe. And a little tip, that's always a little nice little crowd pleaser too. All right, everybody, until next time. Well, well, first of all, I was gonna say, that's that's the real deal right there. That's like, the real that's deal. That's where you hear the, the pros playing right there. That's the real like, deal. Like, that's a secret that people don't wanna teach you because <laughs> then you'll be like, you'll be sounding like the like the, like the the big boys. So anyway, Tyler showed you that, that's like, I'm just telling you, those, are, those little things are what make you sound from like this level to like, people going like damn what yeah. was that right there so don't forget check out 10 thumbs pro we got a great ooh, the video on the beginning rhythm on it now we got the advanced one here subscribe to 10 thank thumbs you. pro subscribe to your collective pros thank you my friend tyler for being it's here all the pleasure. way from columbia to all san diego medellin colombia to san diego california just for this just, just for, for this. you because we this. love you just for this because so. we want you to sound like a pro and another cool thing about this it sounds hard but it's not that hard and that's the best stuff to play Perfectly said. Thank you, my friend. Till next time. Till next time. See you Later. soon. Take care, everybody.